Without the support of the parliamentary friends, um, it would be a lot harder for us to deliver the services that we do. Certainly over the last couple of years where we've been involved with, um, I guess, the floods and the fires, but in particular the floods, I guess politicians that aren't aware of the capability of surf lifesavers, when we're sending our surf lifesavers far west, north and south, it gives them a different perspective and they certainly understand that the skills that we have are transferable um, across the state. Our volunteers are just bloody brilliant. Please help our volunteers stay within the flags, uh, be sensible, be grown up. Uh, that is a big, dangerous ocean out there. Might look calm, might look safe, but you just don't know what's underneath. And we've got our drones, we've got our volunteers, but if you stay in the flags, it's going to be much better for everyone. And, you know, one of the things I'm most keen about is that new technology that we can adapt and use. Um, and, and part of that, probably the number one thing, is drones. So we've got a couple of examples here today of the, the drones we're currently using. But there's also testing with my department through DPI around longer range drones. Drones that can fly for six hours in some cases, do coastal patrols, have long range cameras that can see things for literally kilometres away. That's significant in the way we can deal with not just us in the water, but also just other emergency situations that could be happening. So that's exciting and being able to catch up with people like Oliver is, is really important. Yeah. It's a really important uh, friendship group that we have here in the Parliament uh, across all political parties uh, and it's fantastic that we can all come together and really back in Surf Life Saving, which is a fantastic organisation. Over 76,000 volunteers right across New South Wales and they do a fantastic job and I've seen it firsthand uh, as my, uh, in my role as Minister. We've had so many floods this year, flood after flood in western New South Wales and to see surf lifesaving volunteers give up their valuable time and head inland again uh, to, uh, to help our communities, it's really heartening to see. You know, I am blessed to have such an incredible range of volunteers in surf life saving from one end of the central coast to the other. Uh, the fact that we've had no drownings on a patrol beach in the entire time I've been in Parliament is a testament to the level of professionalism and skill uh, delivered by literally thousands of volunteers on the central coast. I mean, I'm very proud, I have the second largest number of surf life saving clubs of any member in the New South Wales Parliament. Uh, more than 4,000, 4,500 volunteers just in my electorate alone who do a wonderful job. Almost 100,000 hours of volunteer time keeping both locals and visitors alike safe on Central Coast beaches and uh, as I said I couldn't be prouder. Um, they do a wonderful job every season. It's great to see the flags go up. In saying that, as I said, our volunteers uh, do an incredible job. All ages, all genders, from the youngest to the oldest, members of our community step up every season uh, to keep people safe and uh, as I said it's a testament to the organisation as well.